What is going on guys? Welcome to Bitcoin Daily. My name is Jay and today we are showing you guys how to open conditional orders on Bybit. These are also known as uh, stop orders, stop market orders. They could also be stop limit orders. Depending on the exchange that you're using, it probably has a different name. Basically what these orders are is if it reaches a certain threshold, then the order triggers. So we are showing you how to do this on the Bybit mobile today. I know a lot of you trade on mobile and we do most of our trading on mobile as well. I will also show you guys how to set up a stop loss, how to set up take profit orders, and last but not least, how to set up trail stops on Bybit mobile. Let's dive right in. All right, so the entry for the trade that I'm already in that I recorded the video on had already triggered. So I'm showing you how to set up the order for the next entry that I will be looking for. Basically, this is a breakout entry where I'm looking for the order to trigger if it goes above a certain price. So in this case, you will see that I am setting up the conditional order here that I'm selecting market on both of these. I'm entering the trigger price. So remember the trigger price here is where I want the order to trigger and activate once it hits that number. So, so you can see here the current price was at 62,613 and where I want my order to activate is at $65,025. So once the, this, so once this price reaches $65,025, this order will then trigger you can see here, this is where I enter how much I would like to open on this order. Here it basically tells me the order value. But remember, this is with leverage. So my order, although my order value is that much, that's not what I'm actually risking on this trade. And then here where it says buy long, this actually shows you the amount that you would be risking. So mine is going to be a little bit different because I'm currently using cross leverage. I recommend for you guys to use uh, isolated leverage and never use more than 10x. Now, guys, I've been doing this for a while, so I know how to manipulate the leverage, but I recommend for anybody that's new, stick to isolated leverage until you're a consistent winning trader. Remember, all leverage does is amplify the type of trader that you are. So if you're a consistently winning trader, then the leverage is going to make you more money. If you're a consistently losing trader, leverage is going to make you lose more money. So stay small guys, stick to the rules and you will get there. So to recap the setup here, remember we go here, we hit conditional, then we go here, we set both of these up as market orders, and then we enter how big of our position uh, we want to open here. Now remember that market orders you do have to pay a fee on, on limit orders you do not have to pay a fee on. Why do I choose market over limit? Because with a market order, I'm guaranteed for my order to trigger and to fill, while a limit order is not guaranteed to fill my order. So I'd rather pay a fee to make sure that my trade triggers and gets filled then miss out on money because I had a limit order because I didn't want to pay the fees and my trade does not get filled. So I end up missing out on the trade. And of course, missing out on profits. I don't want to miss out on profits. So once you do that, you can go ahead and hit buy long and you will see that the order has been submitted there. Um, and you'll see it over here where it says orders not under positions. So positions will be your active orders. Orders will be the order that you just set up. So you'll see the trigger price, 65.25. Another thing to note is make sure that close on trigger is not on. If it's on, your order will not open. All right, so let's say that our order then finally triggers. I wasn't able to capture the trigger for 62.25, which is why I showed you guys how to do it for the next order that I was setting up. But let's say that our order was set for 62,025 and our order finally triggers. So you can now see here that you're under positions, your order is there. This is your position size, your entry price, your unrealized price and your liquidation price. So the next thing is we have to set up a stop loss. That's the first thing you want to do here. So to set up a stop loss, you're just going to click right here where it says set TPSL. 
and then you're going to go right here where it says stop loss and set the price that you want to stop out at. Now you're not going to click any of these because if you click any of these, what that means is that it will set your stop loss at you know 5% from entry, 15% from e entry, etc. So what you do here is you set the price that you want to stop out at. For this trade, our stop loss was set at $61,750. Then here you can click on last or index. It, it kind of depends. If you set this one to last, then sometimes the price might just touch 750, stop you out and then jump right back up. If you have it on index or mark, then if the price goes down, touches 750 and goes back up, it will not stop, stop you out because this is basically an average price, not the last price. So that's why for stop losses, I prefer index and mark as uh, when I'm setting it up here rather than last. So now we have that ready and we can just confirm as you guys can see order submitted will short for the full amount. So I will I will stop out for my full position size here. Now the next step we have to set up where we're going to take profits. So for this trade, we're taking profits at $62,500, 62750 and 62900 So to set that up, you're simply going to go back up here where it's conditional. But now you're going to switch from conditional to limit orders. For taking profits, you're always setting that up in limit orders. So I go up here, I set limit. I come over here, I set the price, which is 62,500, and I set how many I want to sell there. So I'm selling 25% of my positions, which is 25,000. I hit sell short, and here you can also hit reduce only to make sure that you're only reducing your position, but you don't have to. So now you see that the order is submitted, and now we're going to set up our second take profit area, which is 62,750. Again, for 25,000 contracts, that one is done. And the third take profit is 62,900, 25,000 contracts again, sell, and that order is submitted. Now, if you go to orders, you can see here that all our orders are ready to go, including our stop loss and our three take profits areas. Now, if you're wondering why we don't set up our take profits, here in this section where it says take profit stop loss is because if you set the take profit here it will close your entire position you don't have the option here to only close you know 25 percent of your position or, or set up multiple take profits so that is why we don't take we don't set up our take profits here we just create individual orders for each spot that we're taking profits at and of course, after we take profit three times, that's 75,000 out of our 100,000. So what do we do with the final 25,000? Well, that's called the runner strategy. We're letting that one run up as high as possible to maximize those. With that, you can uh, use a trail stop for it once it keeps running or you know, if it reaches a spot that it starts going down and you wanna just kind of close it out, you can close it out at any time as well. Of course, you could also set a regular normal stop loss on it. So you can go back to this section here and change the stop loss at any time. All right, so now you're in the trade. You've set up your stop loss and your three different spots to take profit. And guess what? We hit our first area to take profit. We're above that, as you guys can see. So our take profit has already hit. So you'll notice now our position size is down to 75,000. Remember, we started with 100,000. So we're currently up 54% on our trade and our unrealized profits is 0.0103. So once it gets to this point, I like to go back to my stop loss here and just take it out. So I'm going to delete my stop loss here because I no longer need it. I'm going to now turn this into a trailing stop. So how do we do this? Now, instead of going to set TPSL, we're going to click where it says all orders. Once you click all orders, then you're going to see this right here where it says trailing stop. You'll see that we're currently up about $559 plus we've taken already 25% profits off the table. So now for the remainder of the trade, we're going to hit trailing stop and then we're going to put on under price retracement 200. What does 200 means? That means 
So that just means that the price will trail by $200 of whatever the best price is, right? So whatever the highest the price goes, the trail stop will basically be chasing it by $200. So if the price goes to a high of 62,700, then my stop loss is going to be at 62,500. If the price goes to 62,750, my stop loss moves up to 62,550. So it's trailing by 200, right? Now if it's at 750 and it drops back down to 550, guess what? My my stop loss does not drop down. My stop loss stays there and I will stop out at that price. That's why it's called a trailing stop. It trails the best price possible, the highest the price goes by whatever number you use there. I usually trail it by, it could be 100, 200, 300. It just depends. Every, every trade varies. It depends how I'm feeling about it. So you guys can try out different numbers and see which you prefer best. All right, so good news, guys. The trade has continued up. We're up around 69% right now, $833. Plus, of course, we've already taken 25% profit. So we're basically up around $1,000 at the moment. And we're about to hit our second spot where we're going to take profits. So if you go to realize PL, you can see where your trade closed. And you can see that our trade closed for $25,000 at $62,500. And this is the amount that it closed for. You can see that the day before I had one that was running a lot more and uh, I closed the full position here at uh, this price. I entered at 61 and I exited at 62,729 for the full position. I had that one with the trail stop. Alrighty guys, so our second take profit order just triggered. You can see that we're currently right at that second spot. And our position size is now down to 50,000. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. If we take a look here at Realize PL, you can see that our $25,000 contract closed here at 62,750. You'll notice up top when you have a trail stop up that it's constantly moving. And that's because as the price goes up higher and higher, that trail stop is going to be chasing it by 200. So prices are still going up. You can see that our trail stop continues to move as the price moves higher here. Currently up 600 plus the profit we've already taken. So we're up over a thousand at the moment on this trade. And we're just going to see if we can hit our final and last take profit spot. So you'll see here at 1102, we closed out another 25,000 at 62,750. Remember that was our take profit to position. And then at 1106, so about four minutes later, we ended up trailing out the remainder of the position, which was 50,000 at 62,589. So it retraced a bit. Remember, I told you guys we are trailing it by 200. So it went up to 750 and it went up a little bit higher and then it came back down. So because it came back down, it dropped by $200. We trailed out the remaining position and now we're basically done for now you can see the profits we made a little bit over a thousand dollars on this trade and you can see that the trade was really only we were in the trade I, I believe less than 15 minutes maybe so it was a very short trade we made you know about a thousand dollars in a matter of 15 20 30 minutes hopefully you guys were able to learn something from this and uh with bybit mobile how to open your trades how to manage your trades how to set stops how to set up trailing stops and how to take profits if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button on it if this is your first time on the channel don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications and if you have any questions about anything that we covered today, drop it in the comments. If you guys are not signed up with Bybit yet and are looking to check it out and sign up, you guys can go down to the description of this video like so. Hit see more and then just simply go down to where it says trade on Bybit with leverage. Click that link and that will support the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.